Today, I want to break down seven operating systems for privacy, security, and how to become a ghost. Not even the CIA could crack these operating systems as proven in the past. Well, not all of them. We'll put it that way. A couple of them. Let's go ahead and break down, jump in, strap in, buckle up, because we are going to break down seven of the most amazing operating systems that I recommend you check out and see if they're right for you in operation. Operation system? Right off the bat, we're gonna jump into Linux Ubuntu. Ubuntu is just good. It's just good overall. If you're brand new in the Linux world, I always recommend Ubuntu. It is a favorite that I've used for a long time. My kids have used it. It's just a good system. I'm not gonna say too much about it. You've probably heard of Ubuntu, but we're gonna jump into number two, and number two is Parrot. Have you heard of Parrot OS? Now, this is a good, clean operating system. I love the project. I love projects that are light, that are free, that back freedom, and Parrot talks about this. So it is something that I strongly suggest you check into and something that, see if it's right for you. If you use a standard OS, you are opening yourself up to unbelievable privacy and security concerns, hacks, and being monitored. Your digital fingerprint is more extensive than most of you realize. That's why everything you change, if you add like apps or if you add plugins or if you add extensions, it lessens the amount of people who have that exact same setup. It's kind of like your actual fingerprint, right? If 10 of us were to go side by side and put our fingers out, our fingerprints would look relatively similar unless you've had any serious cuts or any, any you know, but for the average person, our fingerprints are going to look somewhat similar. We put them down and all of a sudden you look at them through a computer's lens and they're not even remotely similar. And that's like with your digital fingerprint. That's why Kali is probably the standard for a lot of hackers. You've seen it in Mr. Robot, which is a really interesting show. I'm not a big TV guy, don't watch much TV, but over the years I watched an episode of Mr. Robot here and there, and I thought it was a really well put together show. It's just a show, but the hacks on that show are far more realistic. As somebody who does pen testing and my company, Privacy X, we do pen testing, penetration testing, and Cali is a good option. Now, the speeds aren't phenomenal. The speeds can be a little bit slow, but if you have a powerful machine, I've never noticed any slowdowns, but I have a couple very powerful machines. I always spec my machines out to the max to futurize them, and then I buy a new computer, typically every other year, so I can usually get two years out of the most powerful machine that's currently on the market. Sometimes, I mean, you can get more life out of it, but I like to keep that power, that speed, right? And if you've got more of a standard machine or if you're using, you know, a portable machine like a Raspberry Pi or something, you might see a little bit slower speeds. And that's the one thing with Cali, but it's kind of a, a baseline for a lot of people to get going in this. The next one is one of my favorite, and I've talked about probably two dozen times, and that's Hunix. I've done a detailed tutorial and I'm going to keep saying this because I recommend for most of you, if you've used Ubuntu or Kali or Parrot, those are great kind of gateways. Now we're going to get into some that are a little bit more advanced. So if you're brand new, Ubuntu, Parrot, and you know, Ubuntu and Parrot are great if you're newer. Kali, if you really want to dig deep into what's possible, which again, most people don't even use the internet. They use a handful of apps, they check email, they use a handful of search engines, and they call that the internet. That's not even one-tenth of one percent of the internet. In fact, the deep web is most of the internet, but most people don't even understand that. So those are good options. Then Kali, Hunix, because of the core privacy system. I've broken down my system, and I've done a detailed tutorial on Hunix, so I'm not going to go into it here. But Hunix, because you have a gateway and a workstation, then you usually launch something like Tor through the Relays exit node, and you've got a VPN on your machine. And hopefully, like I talked about in my ghost internet video, you've got a VPN system. I mean, you're very, very, very anonymous at that point. You are very, because you're running a virtual machine, you are very hard to find. So Hunix is a great option. I wouldn't call it advanced, but it is a little more advanced than the other ones, and it's a little heavier. It's definitely a much bigger resource hog because you have the gateway and the workstation, as you can see. 
but Hoonix is incredible and I recommend all you at least check out Hoonix and if your machine is powerful enough, Hoonix is the one I would probably recommend over everything I'm gonna say. Now the next ones are gonna be a little bit more advanced, the next three, but Hoonix, even if you're not super techy, you can get into Hoonix, watch my tutorial. The next one I'm gonna say is Tails. Now you might be thinking, well Tails isn't super advanced, it's not as advanced as the next two, but for a lot of people it's unnatural because you have to have a live boot OS. So you're gonna have it on a drive, you're gonna have it on a portable stick. And the cool thing is having live boot is literally the antithesis of anonymity and privacy. You unplug it and just ghost mode. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like if you snap your fingers and then just disappear. And that is Tails. So Tails is incredible. Tails is a live boot OS and Tails, I highly recommend as you can see here. I've also done a breakdown on Tails and I've used Tails for years. It is one of my favorites, second only to Hoonix, but I use Tails and Hoonix probably the most, but these other two I also use, but I use them very specific circumstances. The next one I wanna recommend is the Edward Snowden OS more widely known as Cubes OS. I love Cubes, and you know if you've watched my videos for any length of time, I talk about compartmentalizing. I talk about my laptop system, I talk about my phone system, I talk about privacy tech, I talk about all the things I do to compartmentalize. Cubes literally compartmentalizes everything. I love Cubes. Now, the thing with Cubes is it is much more advanced, so you definitely need to have some skills, you definitely need to be more advanced. This is not something where you're gonna plug and play like some of the others. Ubuntu, you know, you need to know a few things. Linux is different if you've used Mac before or oh, if you use Windows. Oh, so it was usually, oh, I can barely say it. Oh, this, the windows are always open according to Bill Gates. He's peeking through your windows right now. But uh, Cubes is a little bit more advanced. Cubes is incredible. I love Cubes. I am over the moon about Cubes. I think it's one of the best. I think, I think that should be the standard how things are built. If you look at the diagrams of cubes, like you can see here, if you look at the breakdown, oh, explore cubes. Do yourself a favor and explore cubes. Whether or not you use it is up to you, but explore cubes, put in the time to understand it. The next one I wanna talk about is Black Arch. Now, Black Arch is more of a pen testing and privacy security OS. Black Arch is also much more advanced. Now, we use Black Arch at Privacy X. When we do pen testing, we work with high net worth and high level clients or clients in our ghost program. You can check out down below and become an actual digital ghost. How to disappear in a digital world. But I do recommend, I do strongly recommend that you utilize a real privacy based OS. A lot of people are using things from Google, Yahoo, whoa, it's horrible. So the reality is you definitely probably seen my recent Vivo Yahoo in my other video I did right here. If you haven't seen this video, check it out because I get my sit, no, I don't do any singing. Anyway, but I, there was some great edits in that. Appreciate that to my editor and they're, they're laughing at me off camera, but I, I love it. I love it. So the reality is you need to use a legit OS that respects your privacy, that respects your digital freedom and doesn't spy on you and turn you into a product and sell everything you do. Black Arch is incredible. A lot of people ask me my favorite OS for phone. Now, I do love Linux phones and I've done a lot of videos on phones, burner phones, Linux phones, the best phone products. My phone system, which is pretty advanced, I showed about eight phones in my phone system. I have four phones with me at all times. One of my favorite phone OS's is Graphene OS. I just think D Google phone, and it's ironic, and I don't rely on them too much. I did talk about Graphene OS in my phone system, but I do like Graphene OS, but ultimately Linux. Linux is the best option. Uh, iPhones are okay, but only in specific circumstances. I, I always have the latest iPhone for business purposes, but I only use them in specific circumstances. You don't wanna have that thing following you around and tracking you everywhere you go, and then the same thing with Android phones. I would not recommend Android phones to anybody unless it's got Graphene OS and it's been de-Googled. If you de-Google an Android phone, that's good. Otherwise, no go under any circumstances. It's not where you want to be. So these are the seven that I think you should check out, specifically some of the first ones. What did I miss? What ones would you like to see on the list? I'm actually going to be doing a tier list 
of over 20 OSs soon. But let me know down below the OSs you want to see. Also, let me know down below some video ideas. I'm always adding your guys' ideas to the list. I'm always compiling a list. And probably half of the videos on Privacy X I've made based on your guys' recommendations. So let me know down below which ones you want to see. And also let me know down below OSs that you think I should have added or should add to my tier list video. I've got about 20, but it never hurts to throw some more on. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. Go all into your privacy, your security, and take action in your life so you don't become a product, you become a digital ghost, and you no longer deal with big tech and big government spying on you and selling you as a product. I thought slavery was over. Well, thankfully it is for the most part, not on the internet. They literally are turning us into digital slaves, which is not what we want to go through again. Every race pretty much has dealt with that in the past. Obviously digital is lower stakes than what happened to Native Americans like me or potentially your ancestors, but still pretty high stakes as far as I'm concerned because of everything that is happening in the world. Have an amazing day, guys. Stay safe out there. Stay in the fight for privacy, for freedom, and to keep your identity and your family safe and secure. And I'll see you in the next video.